Howdy. We're out at the lake. That lake. Wolf Run Lake is where I'm at today. And uh, got a new uh, waterproof camera. Uh, it is not a GoPro brand, it's whatever that is. It is replacing a action cam brand that I've had for years and years. It just isn't very good anymore. And we're about to break the space-time continuum because I'm going to record myself on both. And it's recording. Alright, so there we go. I'm going to narrate on this one in my hand for a minute because the one on my chest is in a waterproof case and, well, we know that those just don't pick up sound worth a shit. So, anyway. It's actually down from the last time I was here. I was here earlier this year. I'm going to walk over and show you. Hopefully the action cam is picking up as I'm walking. It's still recording. I stood right here on this very rock and got my feet wet. So it's it's only about a foot, but it's down a little bit. Uh, a lot of dragonflies making babies. But uh, somebody has moved my table. Well, not my table, but there's a picnic table that's normally down here that somebody has drug up into the woods. So that's the first project. We're going to drag that picnic table back. And we're going to put it right here. It is... I don't know if I can get that where you guys can see. Right there at the edge of the woods. So it's a bit of a long drag, but we can do it. shade. I still have the uh, camera on my chest recording. What we're going to do today, untangle my crankbait, and then I'll talk to you. We have the Crown Planet Junior Japanese reel, I figure, from the 50s that I restored in a previous video and well we've never actually used it so we're, we're going to take care of that today it came with a, a rod that I have not yet fixed but I'm going to switch over to the chest cam right now so that you guys can see me Japanese kids fishing reel from the 50s did very well but as I was standing here I'm seeing all these dragonflies making babies and I'm like you know what I've got my fly rod I can see a bunch of bluegill out here let's make us up a dragonfly and see what we can do and that's what I've done I got a dragonfly right here see if I can get it in front of the camera so you guys can see Maybe, 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 maybe. We're going to see if they're hungry. The chest cam is still recording, by the way. So we're, we're doing a triple experiment. Seeing if my dragonflies are any good. 
already tested out the Japanese kids fishing reel from the 50s and we're still testing out the, the new chest cam. Let's make it happen. On. It's raining. Okay, is it recording this time? Like really for real? Okay, the numbers are going, so it looks like it's really for real recording. Uh, it started downpouring all of a sudden. So, I'm pretty much going to pack it up and be done. Because homie don't like fishing in the rain. That's how you get hit by lightning. And I don't want to die. <laughs> but we're going to test how waterproof this thing is. Because it's, uh, it's pouring buckets. I'm under a tree so I could stay dry long enough to record this. Tested out a couple things. I made a gigantic foam dragonfly. I can get it out about 30 feet. Pretty happy with that. It floats good. And based on the number of bluegill that attacked the damn thing, fish seemed to like it. Unfortunately, it was bigger than the fish that were attacking it, which is kind of funny. <sighs> but in the right spot, I imagine it'll do good. The little uh, Japanese kids reel from the 50s worked beautifully. You know, which is what I would expect from a Japanese reel with all metal gearing. They're just so smooth. It's kind of little for what I do, but I can always put on a little tiny micro rod and go play with bluegill. No shame in that. Um, tested out a popper that I made. Beautiful. Pops nice. Got a couple, a uh, little bluegill, nothing huge, nothing to write home about, but still fun. Uh, and I know for sure I got one on camera. Because I had just reached down and pushed the button on the back of the camera that makes the little screen come on as he was attacking it, so I know I at least got him blah, blah, blah. But uh, I'm going to go pack up my shit and we're going to call it a day, I think. Or at least, you know, we're going to put a pin in it until this this stops. I'm a drowned rat. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye.